Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Chat video. And in this video, I'll be reviewing an iOS 8 launcher that for Android that I recently found in the Google Play Store. Now, iOS 8 hasn't even been released yet, but Android developers have already found a way to make it happen for Android. So here is the interface that you get when you open it. Now, it's obviously very iOS-y and Apple-y. You can click on, you know, certain folders that are already made by the app to click on them. The animations are very Apple-y. Everything is Apple-y, you can't, you know, exit the animation. And it's all already been sorted out, games, media, etc. And I found that to be really convenient, actually, so that was something that I didn't expect, and it was a nice addition. Now, you can obviously click on any app to open the app, and clicking home actually has a very awesome animation that some people don't like because it's, you know, wasting your time, but it looks nice. Now, you can hold down any app to open up this whole, like, dance marathon thing where you can move the apps, delete them, you know, clicking on X uninstalls them, you can move them to the dock, and of course, just like Apple, you cannot make folders in the dock. It sucks. But, moving on, pressing the home button has some really nice animations. You can pretty much click on any app, and going back, as you can see, that dock has a pretty sweet animation. Now, you can slide down to have that spotlight search. It's not really Spotlight, it's just Google now, but it's regardless a pretty cool feature. Now the settings, you actually have a lot of awesome settings. You can select some live wallpapers. You can, as you can see, choose between different wallpapers. You actually also have themes, but I'll skip that for now. Now effects, you know, you can change your page turning effects and everything. You can also actually make a lock screen, which is built in, which I'm going to be showing right now. Just slide that toggle, which also looks iOS 80. You can enable the music widget and the lock screen, and these are all really amazing features that really just work, you know, they just work without any glitches. So here's the lock screen. You can double tap to open up your music widget. As you can see, I'm listening to some Latch because it's awesome on Spotify. And you can double tap to go back, and you can slide it to pretty much get to your password thing. Type in your password and look at the animation. So, back to the preferences and the themes, this is where this app can really excel. Developers can make custom themes, and one I really liked was the Android L theme, which I'm going to show you guys right now. So you pretty much download it, it's a separate app, unfortunately, but it's only like a couple megabytes, so it's not such a big deal. So, you can pretty much install any theme that is available right now, and it's been growing pretty rapidly in the past couple weeks, slash days. So once you do this, just go and click home a couple times and it will get you to your iOS home. Then you just gotta go into preferences, click on your theme preferences, switch over to local and apply the theme. And I've gotta admit, this is a pretty accurate Android L theme. Even though, you know, Android L isn't gonna be looking iOS 80, you gotta admit, the icons look pretty darn accurate. It's flat, it's good looking. And the themes here have really great potential. Uh, that's pretty much it for what I have to show you guys hands-on with this. Now, a couple things to note here. Some parts of it were not completely tablet optimized, which is why some parts of the video were not horizontally orientated. There's a lot of bloatware. Um, there's like recommended apps that you have to manually delete. There are a couple of apps that are just installed, like a Clean Your RAM app that I didn't want. You lose a lot of functionality, which isn't a you know tick on the app, but iOS, you don't have widgets or, you know, anything that Android has. And, um, link in the description to download this app. Definitely go check it out. The themes are where this app is going to shine. Not necessarily the iOS app, iOS part, but the themes. The Android L theme, the, there's an Oppo theme. There's all sorts of awesome themes. So definitely go check those out. And thank you for watching this video. Oh, and, uh, let the fanboy wars begin. If you like this video and want to see more of my videos, you can press that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.